born new tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this? Hey, Nasha? Mm -hmm. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> disasters? Check. Now for TV. Hey, hey. <laughs> Be in charge is brilliant. How do you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So, do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly, but Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash! Gran. Nash! Nash! <laughs> All right, kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose and me and Nasha are going to catch it today. We'll be heroes. That's nice, Dennis. I don't you, but I'm babysitting. Hi. <laughs> All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! Ah, tiger! Hey? Eh? You! Don't you know there's a dangerous animal on the loose? Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. Huh. You couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi! Oh, Don't worry, B, dear. Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! And Nash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash! Nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis! Haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it!
off. Then to the bunker. <laughs> Tiger hunting's awesome. Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's around here? Look, Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> It says here you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beaner Town's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> get off! That's <laughs> finest lump <laughs> steak! They locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild sea lion to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Denny! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! <laughs> nice one, Nasha. 
Another one for your world-class bone collection. <laughs> Good, you're both here. I was just about to tell Nasher it's time he got rid of these. Nash! No way, not the bones! Oh! There are several well-regarded blogs about Nasher's impressive collection. <coughs> Largest bone ever procured from a Northern Hemisphere takeaway. Mm, Nasher! Obscenely large wishbone doubling as a powerful menace catapult. <laughs> ah, speaks for itself, really. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to start a blog about my garden. But... No buts. This back garden is a bone-free zone. And that's final. <laughs> oh! Crisis Treehouse meeting now! <laughs> Operation Bone Transplant is go! We need ideas now! Nash's bones need a new home. We could start a touring xylophone ensemble. <laughs> Anything else? Or sneak them into an everyday domestic setting? <laughs> No, what we need is an all-new bone zone. Somewhere Nasha can access any time of day. Somewhere we can keep an eye on things. Ah, genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> That's the last of them. Nice digging, Nasha. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Dennis, at school on a Saturday? <laughs> Don't tell me you're here for the lecture. Lecture? Putting the fun in quantum physics? Well, actually, Walter, we were uh, up to something I should be reporting to the headmaster. Oh, Dennis, Curly and Pieface. <laughs> Joining us for some extracurricular learning, I see. Uh, Walter. FYI, Dennis, that is no fun in quantum physics. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect Nash's precious bones. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh. 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 I think I need to lie down. Well, anything to keep your bones safe, Nasha. <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> I never thought subatomic particles could be so side-splittingly funny. It was like a comedy club with learning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, ouch. <gasps> what on earth have we got here? Fetch me a paleontologist. Post haste. Spend a bit of quality time with your bones while we're in class, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Uh-oh! Looks like you got company, Nasha! <laughs> and that, I presume, is the dorsal vertebrae? Yes, indeed it is, my boy! A mighty fine specimen! Good show, Dr. Paleo. I'm certainly glad we called a professional. Huh? What is that? That, my boy, is the world's first mutton bovine poultry saurus. I prefer Walter Saurus. Mutton bovine poultry saurus. I like Walter Saurus. We like, like Walter Saurus. Ah. How about your old Nutsasaurus? These aren't dinosaur bones. The Nashes! Preposterous, young man! Why, the dog would simply collapse like a moist towel without bones! Uh, not Nash's actual bones! His world-class collection! What kind of dinosaur wears a bow tie, anyway? <clears throat> Hands up all the qualified paleontologists present! Hmm? Anybody? I, I know my hand is up! No? No? That's what I thought! 
Dr. Paleo, Dennis is just peeved that he wasn't the one to make the archaeological find of the century. It was, in fact, for the record, me! Bravo, Walter! Oh, Jolly good! Bravo, Bravo Walter! These bones belong to science now. They are going on a round-the-world tour as soon as I have them assembled. And when will that be? Tomorrow! <laughs> what? And don't even think about any funny business, Dennis. The Waltosaurus will be the most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotel. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you the second most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. The T-Rex at the museum. If they want a dinosaur to take on tour, we will give them one. Nash, nash! Are you ready to make menacing history? Nasha! Let's make many history! Then phase two of Operation Bone Transplant begins. Meet tomorrow before school at the museum. <laughs> An actual dino! Curly! Pie face! Grab Nasha! <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. Need this one as is. Nash! Let's get this dinosaur mobile! <laughs> <laughs> Time to move this to the dig site before they ship out Nash's collection from Bingo Town for good. Nash, Nash, Nash. All right, let's get going. There. Ah, uh, nobody. What are you doing down there? Hmm? Oh, just helping out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you missed a bit, Nasha. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, I see. Oh well. <sighs> so, anyone got any idea how to assemble this thing? Beano Town, this is a proud day indeed. Beano Town's first ever dinosaur is about to go on a round the world tour. Do you think they'll notice the difference? <gasps> <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, no! That's no Waltosaurus. Oh, my expert eye tells me these are not even dinosaur bones. <laughs> what do we do, Doctor? <laughs> Smile for the cameras, my boy. Uh, hello! Smile and hope nobody notices. But... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Beanotown, I give to you the Mutton Bovine Poultry Forum! Dad said the back garden was a bone-free zone, but he never said anything about the front garden. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Dad. This hole's earmarks for Nash's bones. Dennis! Hey? Eh? <laughs> Get me out of here! Looks like Dad's got a bone to pick with you, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I'm sorry to say, children, I have shocking news. Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Oh, these are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. Only if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's gonna fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha! How often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector. But you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years. And that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school at all. <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely gonna fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What will happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're gonna turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. Want a helping hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm. Maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! So this is Beano Town School. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll sup to the demise of Beano Town School. Two teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. To my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, fudge powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? Oh, oh. Goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... Anarchy, headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the classroom. Say that again. This is not looking good, Headmaster. 
man, that school bell is late. <laughs> Mr Pencil? Mr Pencil! I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! Ha-ha! <laughs> Treehouse in one hour. Time to start plotting the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but who? It's impossible. Yes. Yes, this is. Yes, this. <laughs> Necessarily, Curly. We think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as. Two, two. Right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr. School Inspector? What if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Yeah, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. <laughs> Excellent at archaeology, which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> Not bad, eh? A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. <laughs> 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 But I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right. But our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure form myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> So fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. Yay! <laughs> Three little words. I will be back. We did it! <laughs> Nasha did it! <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? <laughs> 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 Yes, 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 yes.
Cassius Fleas have got to go. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, look, it's from Great Aunt Felicity. She's been in the Amazon tagging wild panthers and now she's off to Africa to give fillings to hippos. But she's stopping off on the way there to pay us a visit. Oh, she's really looking forward to seeing you and Nasha, but you know about her phobia. <laughs> and who oh, no, knew the tigers were ticklish. A flea! Get it off! Get it off! But, but Nasha without fleas is like fish without chips, steak without chips. Chips without chips. No arguments, Dennis. I'm taking him to the salon for a flea bath. <laughs> this flea shampoo will soon have you clean and fresh. Nasha? Nasha? Nash, <laughs> Nash. Uh, don't worry. I'll take care of Nasha. You can count on me. The fleas are history. <laughs> OK, we have a problem. We need to keep Nash's fleas somewhere safe till Auntie Flick is gone and he can have them back. Nash! We could take Nash around to your grands. Or we could clone Nash and the fleas can stay in the clone until your auntie goes. Huh? Pie face, you're a genius! Let's make a fake Nash. First, we need something scuzzy and, and tangled that feels like Nash. Ah. Wow, it's like I'm seeing double. I'm not so sure that this is going to work, Dennis. Come on, the fleas will love it. <laughs> Maybe they can smell a trap. <gasps> of course, it has to smell like Nasha. OK, time for Operation Fuey. <laughs> <laughs> Itching powder in a pepper mill. My latest prank, I give you the itch sneeze merry smell. Quick, quick, quick. Only for an hour or so, Nasha. Just stay away from fake Nasha while Auntie Flick's here, OK? Nash, Nash. Right, you two keep an eye on the fake Nasha. I don't know how long the pong will last and I don't want Whoa. any surprise. <laughs> Auntie Flick, what are you doing? Yes, it is lovely weather, isn't it? I'm just testing my theory that the Zagapo tribe from Brazil flew across the Atlantic 500 years ago. Must ask them about their landings. Nasher, my favorite dog. <laughs> or the, 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 the fleas. Are they all gone? Uh, yeah, all gone, Auntie. It's completely free flea. Uh, I mean, um, flea free. No, thank you. I just ate. Oh, I can't see any fleas. <laughs> Oh, crocodile sausage. Delicious. Let's go inside. I've got presents for everyone. They look great. Made from her runksa bark. It has excellent relaxing qualities. I don't feel any more relaxed. And for you, Dennis, a Peruvian flute. <laughs> Sorry, that was a poison berry blowpipe. I always get them confused. <laughs> hmm, is it just me? Or has the fake Nasher lost its smell? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I don't know. All I can smell is this onion, pickle and gorgonzola pie. Oh, yum. It needs more pepper, though. Oh. No! No! <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? Grab it! <laughs> Oh, dear. Maybe we should try and get them off. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what was that? Um, just a bird. Yeah, a big one. I'll go and see if it's all right. You stay in here and, um, help Auntie Flick. <laughs> nash, nash. Actually, I think Nasher should stay here and help. <laughs> what happened? It jumped out of the treehouse for no reason. Nothing to do with itching powder or anything. It's gone crazy, Dennis. I think the fleas are desperately seeking Nasher. Oh. We have to catch it before the fleas get anywhere near Auntie Flick. We'll need some ropes, wood, a sheet, and something really stinky. <laughs> Are you sure this will work? Of course. It'll fall right into our trap. <laughs> Okay, not good. That's why I always have the plan B. What are you boys up to? Ah! Auntie Flick, don't come any closer. Yes, they are nice glasses, aren't they? I just bought them. Hi, Faye, stop! Thank <laughs> you! Ah! 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 Dennis, what were you thinking? Um, sorry. You've left me far too much room. If you really want to trap someone, you need more tension on the ropes. <laughs> you see, a tough nylon cord has the best strength to weight ratio. Cool. <laughs> ah, don't stop! Don't move! <laughs> oh, hey! Woo! Look what I found! Lumbricus Festivus! That's just what I need. Excrete a very slippery oil. <sighs> As I said, I don't feel any more relaxed than normal. Well, that's my ride. See you all again soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Auntie Flick, don't forget your rucksack. Denise, what are you doing? I doesn't want this smelly old thing. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that's right. You know what? We'll give it a wash and post it to her. <laughs> Don't be silly, boys. Hand it over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help! Somebody save me! <laughs> Nasher, my hero. Nash and Nash! <laughs> anyway, mustache, mush, mush. I had a great time. The net, the pet, it was fantastic. Goodbye, all. Net, pit. What was she talking about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Run, Nasha! <laughs> Sports Day.
Hey. Oh, yes. Where's that, Dennis? Fresh air, no lessons, and a million ways to make menacing mayhem. Whoopee cushions, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin. Like Nasha loves sports day too. I think Pie Face needs some help choosing a discus. Go, Nasha! Nasha boy! Oh, thanks, Den. So, wind from the east, medium density cross. Come on, Pie Face! We haven't got all day! Oops, that I'm lucky. Nice throw, Pie Face. Oh, sometimes you're just in the zone. Dash! Dash! Oh, we're too late to menace this race. Patience, Curly. Three. Two, one. <laughs> 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 That's my frog. Yes, yes, yes. Toad. And the gold medal for menacing goes to. Zeris. Exactly. Oh. You have ruined Sports Day. Dennis, you've disgraced the school. Sir, it's clear he knows nothing about sportsmanship, unlike me. You're right. Walter, my boy, why don't you teach Dennis about discipline in the three-legged race? Genius idea, Headmaster. Me? Strapped to him? No way! <laughs> Slippers handcuffs for the three legged race. What a good idea. I've been waiting ages to get these on, Dennis. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Shall I look after the key for you, Sergeant? I'm going to win this race, so keep up. Oh, your shoelace is untied, Walter. Is it? Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The winner is me! What? I did all the work. Let go! My, oh, I put the trophy! Me. Let go! <laughs> you, that was your fault! Walter, you were a shining example to Dennis. Well, I'm always keen to help the school where I can. Uh, may we now consider this lesson finished? Get me out of this! I seem to have lost the key. What? Well, where did you last have it? Oh, over there, I think. Or maybe it was over there. Or there. Oh, dear. Where's the key, Angel Face? Not telling. I'll teach you to put a frog in my sack. Excuse me. What did I do? You laughed. 
Well, it was quite funny. Thanks, Walter. Oh, be quiet, Dennis. Well, let's see how funny you find this. Maybe I'll remember where the key is if the two of you get me, um, an ice drop flower from right at the top of Mount Beano. That's miles away. Better get a move on then, hadn't you? This way! <laughs> Nash! Ow! Stupid animal! Don't talk about Nasha like that. I wasn't talking about Nasha. Oh, that's it! I've had enough. Nasha, chew my leg off. <laughs> you two have got to work together. Nasha, give them a rhythm. Nash! 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 Come back here, you you Why you little look You won't get you done outside. We can slow down now, Dennis. Menaces don't know the meaning of slow. <laughs> hey, nice timing, you two. A nice emergency break-in. Yep, uh, works every time. We've just got to climb the mountain. How hard could it be? <laughs> oh, I love a good nature ramble. This should be fun. Pie face, curly, stay here. If I don't make it back, promise me you'll keep on menacing this town. Okay, Nasha, let's do this. Nash! Oh no, Dennis. This time we do it my way. <laughs> and if you look to your left, you'll see the lesser spotted pine tree. And... Oh, what's that? From now on, we work together. Truce? <laughs> Truce. Steady. <laughs> there it is. The ice drop flower. We made it. <laughs> oh, where is that key? Now, don't you worry, Angel Face. It'll pop up. We did it! Almost fell off a mountain, but we did it! Oh, well, a deal's a deal. Oops! Oh, I found it! Oh, it was round my neck all the time. Oh, oh well done, Angel Face. What? You're not seriously falling for that? Walter, you picked up Dennis's bad habits. Come on, let's get you uncuffed before there's any more damage. At last! <laughs> <Lots of days. laughs> Back to normal. Yes! Half a trophy's better than none. Ah, it's a pity Angel Face got away scot-free. As usual. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Mm, absolutely. Ribbit. <laughs>